Oh, my beloved subjects, this is your queen and DJ of the Lunar Republic Takeover, Nightmare Moon. Tonight, I have a very special guest for you, the one, the only, well, I hope the only, Equestria can't really handle more than one of him, the manliest brony, Dusty Cat. Well, thank you for having me here, my illustrious queen of the night. It's an honor to be here. It is great for you to show your support to my regime, Dusty. Now, earlier you wanted to tell me something important, did you not? Yes, you know, there... there was a reason that you lost. Lost? Lost? How dare you say I lost? It was merely a setback. Merely? But don't you want to hear my hypothesis as to why you had your little setback? Hmm, I think I may be willing to hear such. But if you are simply pulling my leg, it's the dungeon. Or Pinkie Pie. Well... I think I'll let you know. Yeah, say in about an hour. <laughs> in an hour? Oh, for fine. Later. Until then, every pony, let's hear some of Dusty's favorite music coming next. We return to the Lunar Republic Takeover. Remember, my subjects, Dusty promised us an explanation as to why I lo uh, had a very minor setback against Twilight and her friends. That's right, I did. Hmm. And that is... I mean, it's not like you need to see the inside of my dungeon. It's quite roomy, I hear. Oh, I hear it's quite nice this time of year. Especially that escape tunnel in the back, which I'm sure is still there. Wait, the what? Oh, never mind. I'll find it later. Just get on with the explanation already, foal. Foal? Really? Foal? My, my, my. I guess you just really don't want to hear my thoughts on this, do you? And here, you know, I'm on your side. <sighs> it certainly does not sound that way, as you are trying my patience. You see, you see... That was mistake number one. No patience. You let your temper rule your emotions. And the second? Hmm. Well, I guess we'll find out in the next hour. What? Uh, okay. Stay tuned, my subjects. It seems dusty and I must have a heart-to-heart -heart talk. So you see, when you take the mass of the whip times the square root of the angle of attack, you get- Oh boy, look at that. I just have no idea where the time went. We're back on the air, Dusty. Ah, so it seems. Uh, I'll explain this more uh, at the next break. Indeed. Now, back to where we left off. What was the second thing that led to my supposed defeat? Not that one ever happened, of course. Ah, well, um, I don't think that you were quite manly enough. I was not what? Manly enough, you know. Take charge, get it done, stand up for yourself. You know, manly. I, what, manly, uh, why, what? Instead of trying to trick all the girls with your little trials, why didn't you just, you know, take the crown? I, uh, well. I mean, really. You could have just gone to the old castle of the Pony Sisters long before Twilight and her friends showed up. But, 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 we have to go back to the music. We'll be back soon, my subjects. And I have to stand taller and be more menacing to be manly, right? Well, not so much menacing as holding yourself high with confidence. I was already doing that. Did you see me at the Summer Sun celebration? I was oozing confidence from every pore. That wasn't confidence. That was mocking the crowd. Your evil laugh wasn't even all that convincing. Not convincing? How is this not convincing? <laughs> you mean, like this? <laughs> Whoa! Dude, that's creepy. You see? Confidence. You have to feel it, not just laugh on the outside. Well, uh, all right then. Um, what else do I have to do be to be manly then? I mean, don't get me wrong. I have buckets of it. 
I just prefer to know how others do it. Well, you need to take care of business. Don't be lollygagging around. Stand up for yourself and your friends and do what is right. All right. While Dusty Cat tells me all about how to be manly with lessons I obviously do not need, let's get back to the music. So how much do you usually charge for lessons? Uh, well, my going rate is about 100 bits an hour. Alright, everypony. Welcome back to the Lunar Republic Takeover. I must sadly announce that this is the end of tonight's set, and we can all thank Deathy Cap for showing up. And for trying to tell me how to be more manly. It's been my pleasure, my queen. Not so much with me. I mean, really, more manly? Psh, who would ever need manliness lessons? We're still on for Sunday, right? After my night court? Yes, of course. I have you signed up for the deluxe package. All right, let me see what you have me signed up for. Dear Altair, you're going to drain the coffers. But, well, if it helps me get manlier, it will be worth it. I aim to please, my queen. And you can see my results with Fluttershy and the bear. I see. Well, that's all we have for this week's Lunar Republic Takeover. Keep listening for announcements for next week's guest. And if you wish to find me on Twitter, follow Heatwave EFR. Good night, everypony. <laughs>